Welcome. Could you please tell me uh, your name and why are you here? Hi, I'm uh, Jan Willem Vaasje. I work for Redmax, and Redmax is an interactive company in Holland. And we are here to see uh, how we can use gaming to change behavior uh, with Dutch people. That's what we do. That's what you do already, so... Yes, we are already developing games uh, together with healthcare professionals because what we see is um, games are very useful to uh, help people change their own behavior but they still need coaching from a uh, professional healthcare um, professional and that's why we develop games together with the patients and the healthcare professionals to get the best game possible and that's what we think is necessary to get really good results. So the, the main reason you're here is to, to tell this story to everyone or to meet people or to... Uh... Uh, most of it now is uh, in Holland to meet people uh, because uh, there's a lot of people in Holland already uh, aware of what's necessary to really uh, develop good games for healthcare. But what we see is that the business is not mature enough. Uh, so what we need to do is to create a momentum and a variety of people working together to get enough money and quality together at the same time to develop cons consumer products that are really good. Uh, because a lot of the um, gaming we do now and e-health uh, solutions we do now are still pilots and are still um, in the exercise uh, period. And what we need to do now is to scale them up and uh, to build really consumer grade uh, solutions. Uh, that's the only way to really uh, reach out for people and touch them. When you say uh, business is, is, is still not good enough, do you mean there's not enough money around? Uh, well, I don't think the problem is enough money, but there's not enough uh, business uh, wisdom in the healthcare section, uh, which is not uh, a surprise. They, they didn't need that for uh, a long uh, time span. Uh, but the market is really changing fast now. So um, what we see is that it's difficult to amount the proper awareness in the business professional way uh, to invest in games and uh, e-health solutions. Uh, so we need to uh, uh, change and shift a few paradigms in how people look to business. That's what we do. Yeah. And, and, um I get the feeling that uh, uh, we're at a time that, that there are different worlds that need to come together, like the gaming people need to come to the, the medical side of it. Do you have this, the same feeling? or? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we see. Um, what we see is that um, one of the things we do, uh, I told earlier about, is changing people's behavior. Uh, that's what we do in marketing communication as well. But people from the healthcare um, sector are always a bit very um, re reluctant to uh, have marketing and marketing communication into the business. Uh, whereas if you ask them what they do themselves, they talk to people, they treat people to change their behavior. And basically they do the same thing with uh, their patients as marketing people do with their consumers. So we have to melt down these two worlds and then we are able to really get some good results, I hope. Internationally, um, there seems to be quite a, a lot of money for, for serious games. It mm -hmm. seems to be a, a hot item for, uh, for investors. Uh, mm -hmm. do, do you notice the same here in Holland? Um, in Holland we see a lot of interest for serious gaming. Um, the, the problem in Holland now, we are in a bit of a crisis, financial crisis, which is a matter of trust uh, in each other, but also in markets. And um, the negative point in that is that uh, the um, interest people have in e-health and in gaming is to cut costs. And that's for a marketeer and for people reaching out to some other people, not the best way to communicate. Because if you, if you are telling people you are going to take things away in less time, do more in less time, spend less time with people, uh, they are not really happy. If Microsoft and Apple would use the same language to communicate about their products, it wouldn't sell very, uh, very good, I think. So. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to change. Yeah. We need a positive vibe around e-health and gaming. And, and how can you get this positive vibe? Um, about meeting people. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a silly thing about e-health. People think we don't have to meet again. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we still need to meet people and to interact and to show some examples and see how it works. Uh, because if people see how things can really work out for them and their patients, then they are very re uh, happy to use it. Uh, it's a misconception that doctors or medical personnel are not interested in e-health or in apps. Uh, the most doctors I know, uh, they have at least 20 or 30 apps in their own iPhone. 
but they use their own apps for their own life and we need to get them to share those apps with their patients and that's the, that's the, the, the game we are in now. Mm -hmm. um, another big issue seems to be validation of, of, of well, serious games, applied games. Do you, do you feel that's an issue? Um, well, with all new medicine, validation is always uh, an, an issue. Uh, can we use something in treatment? And does it um, really work? Does it really work? Uh, the same people do not hesitate if, if I'm coming into an hospital, say, Hi, good morning, how is your day, how can we help you out? Normal uh, consumer interaction, uh, we don't validate that. Um, but in the, in the gaming uh, world, we have to. Um, it's also a good thing. Uh, if you measure a lot, you can get a lot of data about things and then you can show not only to uh, the people involved but to the patients themselves how they uh, end up getting higher scores or uh, better health care. Uh, so validation is always good. Uh, the methods of how to validate is more and more going to real life measurement and that's a good thing. So, we see, we see that also in the pharmacy. Uh, we used to do double clinical trials with 3,000 people before we introduced new medicine. Uh, since medicine is now also uh, almost tailor-made for each patient, uh, we need to rely on information later on in the process to validate what we do is good. And so that's something uh, that will uh, change over time yeah. as well. So validation changes? Yeah, the, the method of validation will change. Yeah. And, uh, we use real data to look into that. Google now can already predict where the um, flu is going in the United States uh, on uh, search patterns. Um, well, that's that's something you can see how big data will uh, influence that in time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see any other big trends uh, besides money and, and validation? Uh, well, sharing and uh, getting uh, connection. Uh, getting connection is uh, ex uh, the ultimate uh, target in, uh, in every online solution. Uh, to create a connection between the people getting better and the people really important for them. And what we see is that caretakers are, are more and more like family uh, than they are professionals on a distance. So this connection will improve uh, healthcare as well. Yeah. So, so, so when you say this connection, what, 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 do, what, do, what do I need to think of? Think of? Uh, well, the, the most simple thing is uh, when you are insecure about yourself or about, about your body or about your whatever disease you do have, you do have questions at the time, they are there. And what you really look for is an answer at the same time. Mm -hmm. And this answer is not always need to be from a professional caretaker in the highest level. Somebody else, a patient can help you out who is just three weeks later in their illness. Um, so what we actually try to do about uh, getting connected uh, is that uh, people can help each other out with sharing information they do have. And having more information or less is sometimes a matter of minutes and not of years of college. Um, where will it all go? What, what does the world look like in 10 years' time? In 10 years' time, well, that's a, that's a big question. Uh, I think the world in some parts will be a lot of, lot of the same. So we, I still hope we do have a lot of nature and free time to uh, enjoy nature. I think interaction will be far more easy, far more simple and uh, people share more and uh, I think we need to do that because there's uh, a lot of more people on this uh, same planet so we have to share more and I think that'll start with communications and information. And, and, and concerning applied games, what, what will, what, which direction will this go? I hope nobody will talk about applied gaming anymore in five years time uh, so in ten years time we are just doing it uh, like we are now reading the map on a, an iPhone going somewhere Nobody is talking about interactive maps anymore. They just go from the one place to the other. And I hope with applied gaming, we, we have this result in a few years, that people are just playing around getting healthier or staying healthy. Uh, and they, the best part is they don't know they are doing it. That would be a good result. Yeah. And you, 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 you are um, certain that it will go this direction? Um, yes, yes. Yeah? I, I'm, I, yeah, there, there's no doubt in my mind we will get there. The way we do that will be different. Uh, will be different in parts in the world and uh, the, the, the problem now or the, the, the thing now in Holland is are we able to uh, amount enough momentum uh, to follow the trends. Uh, people, consumers are, are far more than ready for online healthcare already, uh, that's what we see. Um, caretakers as well, uh, they really like somebody to help them out doing everything they need to do. So if we can make it simpler and easier for them they will use it for sure. Yeah, yeah.
Okay. And what, what's the best uh, example so far uh, cons- uh, when you look at applied games? Wow, uh, there's a great different a variety of games already in the market uh, where there's the simple awareness game. It's, it's like an interactive test where you can find out if, if the situation you're in is um, in, necessary, in necessity of getting professional help or not. Mm-hmm. Um, what I think is uh, valuable is that if we can help people uh, find the sooner they need professional help than later, um, specifically in diseases in uh, children, um, eating disorders, uh, where they don't want to know for themselves that they are ill. Um, if we can reach out to these people before it's really serious matter, that would be really uh, a good thing. And there are some uh, beautiful examples around already doing that. Okay. When will you be happy when when you leave uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, <laughs> I would be happy if there's a coalition formed in Holland. Uh, the, the the biggest problem uh, we are facing, and, and there's a solution on the hand. So I, I know it's coming, but the question is always when. When? Yeah. And then we can form a coalition in Holland where we can really invest and work together. Uh, coalition between which co- parties? Coalition be- between the the parties with the money uh, could be pension funds, uh, could be healthcare insurance parties, the people using it, institutions, but caretakers as well, and the consumer organizations like NPCF. We have it in here in Holland, but more specific, uh, real client um, communities uh, as end user. That would be a nice thing. We see examples of that already, so uh, I think that. And you're working on this uh, here. Today. Yes, uh, yes, especially in the networking part where people um, come together now, is uh, I think that's that'll change. That's the good thing about crisis. People have more sight of value instead of pricing. Uh, so I see th- I see a, a good momentum coming out of that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, welcome.